Okay, so let's see. We're going to get out the um, McCormick because it's the one that has a front loader on it. And let's pull the baler out of the way. The idea is we put the hay in behind up against the wall and we still have room, you know, to put the baler in. At least that's the idea. We'll see. Now, we might be able to get this second load in there uh, because it's not as tall. Let's just see what happens. Okay, is this going to work? Let's just see. Well, I'm not going to be able to push it back now because that pickups in the way. No, the thing's going to hit the road. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can't stop it. Um, okay. Let's drop the bales off and then, yeah, we're going to have to. <laughs> That's fun. Oh yeah. We like this. This is great. <laughs> Yeah, um, Houston? <laughs> I've seen everything now. Okay. <laughs> Even the chickens are laughing. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay. <laughs> that was crazy. I should have known better. Okay. Let's put... That's hilarious, man. Okay, let's park this. Um, hey, we're just gonna turn you off for now. Oh man, <laughs> that was terrible. That was terrible. Okay, so yeah, let's use the McCormick to to do this right here. <laughs> oh boy, never a dull moment, man. Never a dull moment. Um, I probably want my weight on the back of this too, I think. So let's do that. Ah! Okay, so the idea here is, let's zoom in a bit. What if we do first person? Eh, I don't think I want to do first person. Let's get these forks down here so these work in this game uh, just like a bale spike okay so we just want these to be stacked right up neatly against the back wall here Okay. Now, these guys are the wrong direction. So that's going to be fun. But I think I can spear them and then. Can I get it two? Okay, now, what if we do this? Yeah. Drop, please. Hello? Drop. Oh, for goodness sakes. Come on, man. Get off there. There's nothing holding you on there. Okay. We're going to need a little bit of admin help here. Oh, 
Well, it's not letting me actually grab it. Dock on it. There we go. Okay. I want to try and get it pretty square on so we can stack it straight. Oh, about a little lower than that. Okay, now let's stack this on top of here. Put some lights on. man why are we doing this to me okay Come on, camera angle. Oh man, the camera it keeps flipping back and forth because of the, you know, the roof of the shed. So it's hard to see what the heck's going on here. Okay, let's bring that down. Back up nice and easy. Now here's the other thing I want you guys to understand. If I was doing this in real life, I would put either pallets down or at least a tarp or something on this concrete floor. I wouldn't be putting the hay directly on the concrete. But of course, you know, I, I can't actually do that because it's the game. So just let's just pretend that uh, that happened. There we go. Okay. It's just It's just a little bit of weird physics going on here is all. All right. Why is that at an angle. Not sitting flat. Now it is. Okay, it's good. Okay, that was the hard part. I hope that was the hard part. So let's go ahead and I guess the question now is those are seven high. Can we pick up four at a time? Let's do a save. <laughs> we haven't saved in a while. Just in case I really mess this up. Okay, let's see if we can do four. I want to make sure I get it really nice and square on here. And we don't want to go all the way in because it'll hit the ones behind. Okay. Uh, we got it. Okay, let's nice and gently bring it down. Okay. So now the name of the game here is very smooth driving <laughs> to get it in there. I don't want any sudden movements, man.
Okay. Uh, all right, that worked out pretty good. So now what we'll do is we'll take two and put it on top of the other stack. That's the way I should have done this the first time around too is done two so I didn't have to try and get it up so high, you know. All right, are you going to stay up there? It looks like you are. Hey, that's not so bad actually. Let's just give it a little bit of a bump here. There we go. Can't see what's going on. Yeah, that looks all right. There we go. All right. The type of agricultural work I've done more than anything else is load hay bales, but not this way. <laughs> I always did it by hand. Um, now, can we handle five bales at a time? I don't know. We'll see. Only one way to find out, right? Because then I can just put that other... Well, actually, though... I don't know. Can I put another stack? I don't think I'm going to be able to put another stack in here. It's going to be like so tight. But it'd be nice if we could. We could fudge a little bit and pull that stack back that way. And then push that stack in that way. We might be able to make that work. Okay. Let's uh, do another save here, just in case something goes really bad here. All right, so five at a time. We don't really want to tilt it back. We have to keep it level. Oh yeah, we okay, so the tractor can handle five. Oh, man, we want to go nice and slow. <laughs> nice and slow. No sudden movements. Bring that down to about there. Okay. Gingerly is the key word of the day here. Gingerly. Very nice and easy. Gentle. We're not in a hurry. Yikes. Mm, I don't know if we're going to be able to fit this in here or not. Or we're going to try. We're going to give it the old college try. Oh. <laughs> Crap. Okay, here. Okay, we're actually, we actually have, can get over this way a little more. I think we're hitting the post. Yeah. If I fudge a little bit and push that in. And we try and do this. I think we're bumping into it down here now. Man, that almost fits though. I mean, it's so close. Okay, what if we shove that a little more? Can I see what I'm doing here? Yeah, okay. All right, let's back up and then go this way, it, and then this way. It's just kind of hanging up. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, 
All right, I think we got it. That looks like a pretty decent little stack of hay inside the shed, doesn't it? Let's just shove this in a little bit. Not so bad, you guys. Not so bad. Kind of. Oh, oh, oh. Don't mess it up. It's good. <laughs> Leave it alone. <laughs> I was just trying to shove that in a little more there. Yeah, that's not bad. That is not bad. Okay, we got two more pieces here. Thank goodness for uh, super strength, right? I mean, I could have done this without super strength, but I don't think it would be quite as nice and neat as that. So we'll allow ourselves a little bit of cheating here and there. <laughs> Just to make things look good, right? So most likely, I'm going to just keep this hay until we get cattle. Unless, like I said, we get into a situation where we're just... No, don't be doing that. What the heck, man? We get into a situation where we're really need some money maybe to buy something that came on sale and um, and and then at that point we might we'll sell this okay are you stable stay stable okay I think we're stable you know what two why don't we just do this Just because I think that looks a little better. I like it. I like it. All right. We got ourselves some hay. And we're just going to hang on to that until we get cattle. Unless we need to sell it before then. Whew. Okay. Uh, what is next? There's so much that's been going on today. You know, for you guys... I'm going to chop these up into multiple episodes, but for me, this has just been one long day of doing all this stuff. And I am thoroughly enjoying myself, don't get me wrong, but I'm just trying to think of what we have to do next. I think, why don't we harvest our canola next and get that taken care of? And then, uh, you know, we got to get, I, I need to try and get 10% more hay to fill, get that last bale out of the baler. Maybe we should do that first just because I'm thinking about it. And yeah, why don't we do that first? I'm just going to put this in here. I'm going to leave the forks on it for now. Uh, no, actually, this goes in the other bay. I was surprised that I could pick up five of those bales, but that's really cool. You know, it's good to know now that it can for future reference. Because what I'll do, you know, moving forward, when I have, you know, the square loaders, I'll just do exactly what I did here. I'll just dump them off outside and then move them in with the tractor. So, yeah, that worked out really nicely. So, what the plan here is now is we're going to get uh, connected to our, uh, the baler. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mow, like, the side grass and see if we can get enough hay, because we're gonna also have to tet it, just to finish this one bale out. And then of course, you know, the rest of it will be silage. You do have a front PTO. Yeah, I think we checked that earlier, so should be good. Yeah, there we go, okay. shed some light on the subject here. All right, so if we just mow down this strip here, and you know what, too, I might not even use the rear mower for this part. 
hopefully, no, nope. let's switch to the front mower. Hopefully we can get enough to finish that one bale. If not, we'll just keep doing it until we do. Oh, it's not going to let me use it on my own property. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Well, so much for that idea. Well, we tried. <laughs> we tried. They can let us do it. All right. We're going to have to use our own equipment. Well, that really bites. That basically uh, pretty much means, I think, that we've lost this bale. I, I don't know what else to do about it. There, there's nothing I can do about it. Um. Okay. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. We can't complain, man. We've 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 used their equipment. You know what? <clears throat> I'll bet you it's not going to let me use the combine on my own field either. Let's let's try it. Let's just try and see what happens. Um. I'm actually not supposed to be teleporting, but I'm just going to do it this time. I don't think this is going to let me try it, but or, or let me do it. But let's try it, and you know, at least we'll know if it doesn't. you hooking up and the hitch is like right there there we go are there any lines to hook up yeah looks like it It's not a big deal, you know, if, if we can't use this combine. We got our own. Uh, it just means that I don't know if it'll let us use the trailers. That's what we really need is the trailer more than anything else to accomplish this. Okay, I'm going to pull over onto this other field, which is probably going to end up being ours by the time we're done with all of this stuff here on July 1st. Because we need to buy it, and we're just going to turn everything into one big hayfield. Uh, get over here. We're going to store the canola in the at the train depot too for now cuz I don't think um, this is a good time to sell it. What it what does it say about that? Let's look at it real quick. Uh canola. Yeah, we we want to wait till November to sell the canola. Okay. All right. Well, let's just see what it does. It'll either say yes or no. That's all there is to it. We also have to hook up the PTO. Nope, not going to let us do it. Okay, well, now we know. I wonder, though, if it will let us put stuff in the trailers.
Am I, I must be too far, yeah, forward there. Let's disconnect the PTO. Nope. Really? Oh, <laughs> it popped on automatically. All right. Okay, so let's, my combine will probably be able to hold all this canola. And if it does, then it doesn't matter. If it doesn't, though, then we'll try and see if we can offload it inside the, one of these trailers. If we can't, then there's, then we're done with this stuff and we can just return it. Um, here, let's go grab the New Holland because I got to pull the baler out of the way. Actually, we can put the baler... No, well, there's no point in putting it away because we're going to need it for our field. Oh, that's a bummer. I was hoping we could use um, that nice mower to do our field, but it doesn't look like we can. We'll have one of our own, though, someday here soon. Now, I'm obviously going to harvest this now, but let me know, guys, in the comments if you know for a fact that it would have been better for me to wait another day to get higher yield on this. I've seen no evidence to that. To that, um, I'm just going off of what I heard somebody else say, but I haven't tested it, though, either, so it could be a thing, right? Okay. Let's harvest our canola. Uh, we can't, yeah, we can't turn this into straw, so there's no point in swathing. So we have 93% full in the combine for the whole field, uh, which means if we can't put it in the trailer, we're still okay because we'll just store it in the combine until November, um, which is when we need to harvest our corn, right? Let's look, double check. Yeah. So early part of November, we'll sell the canola and then we'll harvest the corn afterwards. Uh, but if I can get it in, wait, well, Actually, though, if I get it in the trailer now, I'm going to have to pay rent on it. So why don't we, yeah, why don't we just keep it in the combine for now? It seems to make the most economical sense for us. So, guys, I guess we're finished with um, all of the contracts and all the contract equipment. Now, I do have to get everything washed up and refueled. Um, so let's get that done, and then I think I'm going to wrap up 
this episode or this recording, which is multiple episodes for me or for you, <laughs> one recording, one big long recording for me. Um, and then in the next episode, which will be July 2nd, we'll do our hay with our own equipment. And um, there's something else. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to plow, plow that canola field uh, and plant some hay. So that is the plan. Stan, let's go ahead and park this back in here. So let's get everything uh, washed up and refueled and returned. And then we'll wrap this up. And we'll just store the canola inside the combine because that's really the best solution I currently have. Okay. Let's wash stuff up. I wonder if it would let me use, if I used my own tractor, but use these mowers. I wonder if, it, if that would work. Let's try it. Actually, now that I think about it. The only thing I really want to use is the mowers. The rest of the stuff doesn't matter because I'm going to use my own equipment anyway. Um, but if we could use the mowers, that would be cool. Maybe it will let me do it. Maybe it won't. We're going to find out. Oh, I did it again, did I? Can I just kind of push that back a little bit? <laughs> I shouldn't be doing that. I know, I'm a terrible person. <clears throat> Okay. I'll we'll just park you over here because we're going to have to wash you up. All right, where is my new Holland? It's over here. Maybe it's just that it's not letting me use the tractor. All right, let's just see what happens here. Doggone it, it ain't gonna work. <laughs> the, game's, the game's not gonna let me cheat it, man. All right, well, we tried, right? We tried. Okay, well, let's get uh, everything cleaned up here and we'll return the rentals, cash in all the contracts, and then I will do the Uh, I'll do my own hay and cut the new field tomorrow. So we'll get the fast track all cleaned up here. Amazing tractor, man. Amazing tractor. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Let's clean this. I'll be using the new Holland for the hay tomorrow, so I'm not going to clean it right now. Okay, that stuff's clean. Let's take this over to the gas station and fill it up. Two hundred ninety-two bucks. Not too bad, considering this is the tractor we use the most. Of course, we put put a pretty decent amount of time on the fence too. Are these guys even dirty? The trailers don't seem to get dirty in this game. No, I don't think we need to even wash those. And for that matter, the uh, the tether looks pristine too. And so does the bale pickup trailer. So we don't have to wash any of that stuff. For whatever reason, though, the windrower gets dirty and the baler gets dirty. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what the logic is behind that, unless it's just an oversight, which it could be. Can I actually reach that from here? I don't think so. Let's just try it. We can go... Yeah, we can reach it from here. Okay. That gets the baler clean. Okay, that looks...
looks pretty clean. Yeah, so why does the wind rower get dirty but the tether doesn't? That doesn't make any sense at all. I don't know. Can't explain it, man. They need a mod that makes you get out of your vehicle and pump gas like Gold Rush. Maybe there is one, but I haven't noticed it if there is. Okay, that was $213. Eight, 8900 Lexion CMOS automatic. What a machine, eh? What a machine. It was a pleasure having the opportunity to use this thing. And maybe someday we'll have one of our own. We'll see. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. We got a little bit out of range there. 307 dollars all right you guys i think we're ready to turn our contracts in and there's no more no reason to hang on to any of this stuff any longer because it's not letting us use it for on our own property it's interesting that it lets us use it on other property but it's probably because that stuff's marked as contract work you know and i guess the game doesn't realize that you know this belonged to a certain field or it lets us get away with it i'm not really sure but nonetheless um let's go turn these contracts in get some money get rid of all this stuff and then we're back on our own again so everything is marked as completed let's make some money here oh that's right we leased we leased the fent ourselves and we leased these because I didn't know that other stuff was at the place. Okay, so we got to return all that too. We did reimburse ourselves for it, so we don't need to do that again. Okay, so that leaves us at $106,357. Very good. We made ourselves some bank today. Let's look at the ledger. So we spent $9,000 on wages, well, $9,800 on wages, but we earned $96,000 in contract income. We didn't have to purchase any fertilizer or anything like that. Uh, so our net takeaway from this was $80,852. That's a pretty darn good day, man. Pretty darn good day. Now, here's what I think is going to happen. Um, let me, let's look at these again. No, we don't need any of that stuff. Um, I think we're going to purchase this other field. Now, I've been waiting for the owner to put a crop on it for us, but they're not doing it, and they haven't for many, many months. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to wait one more day. And if there isn't a crop on this field tomorrow on July 2nd, I'm just going to buy it as is. And then we're going to plow this field and this field and maybe this road i don't know but we're gonna nevertheless expand things i'm gonna probably move the bees somewhere else i haven't figured out where yet but we'll probably move the bees because i want to take advantage of all this area here too uh for hay i have decided that the corn is going to be profitable for us we're not going to get rich off of it but we are we should you know we should make a little bit of money off of it so we're just going to let the corn stay there until we can harvest it in november and then we'll also convert all of this over to hay too when that time comes. But I want to get this field converted to hay, um, purchased and converted to hay right away, along with this one. So that way we can, you know, get at least one more, maybe even two more cuttings off of it by the end of the year. So that's what I have in mind. Now, what could change that is if something phantasmagorical comes up in the sales tomorrow that would maybe ch cause us to change our mind about that but if nothing does come up in the sales then that is the plan for now so tomorrow we buy that field we harvest our hay and then we plow the two fields together and plant more hay that is the plan unless again something happens to change that all right you guys i'm gonna let you go here uh it has taken me many hours on Sun, Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon <laughs> to record all this stuff. I'm a little frazzled right now. I, I, I'm happy 
I had a great time, but I need to take a break and I'm going to let you guys go here. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, I think. Yeah, right. <laughs> Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.